Corey Cares for Kids is a, it's an event that we started. It started as a motorcycle ride and ATV ride, and we incorporated uh, a barbecue competition with it, just to come up with something a little more creative, a little different, and it, uh, just to uh, highlight our hospital patients and why we do what we do. It, uh, it's a hospital fundraiser, so everything that we that we raise during this event will go directly to uh, Shriners Hospitals in uh, Boston and Sh Springfield. Normally we have about uh, 30 to 40 motorcycle motorcyclists and about 25 or 30 ATVs on those rides. Barbecue competition just is uh, wild this year. This year we had 48 teams and I'll, I'll let Kathy talk a little bit more about that because she worked hard to get all of these teams here. So many years ago a friend of mine told me about a contest in Maine and my family's from Maine so we took a drive and that's when I met Brent and I said day one I said I'm not leaving you're stuck with me. And I, just, <laughs> I just keep showing up and I keep cooking or keep finding teams for yeah. them. Um, so it's, it's just I knew from day one this was an event that could get bigger and really help the hospital started with Brent when he was in Turner when it was very when it was a lot smaller with a lot less teams it was about 12 back then yeah um, we continued through this year they have 48 teams from all the way from Canada to Virginia um, and they have come with open arms to make sure that they can help Shriners Hospital at this event we offer a kids queue where children can cook and this year's category was chicken and they were provided the chicken but there's a little bit of extra special components we have paired children from the hospital with the barbecue teams that are behind us and they um they all kind of fought us like you know in the sense of i want a team i want a team let me help let me help they run right in and try and some of those kids are literally running to turn-ins with the biggest smiles yeah. on their yeah. faces and, yeah. and and just so excited to see us and so excited to see teams they've met before mm -hmm. and things like that yeah. one of our bigger events this year is a a rib auction Humphreys Barbecue decided to do a rib auction, so their, each team was provided four racks of ribs, which were all donated by our York County Shrine Club, uh, and that was a sizable donation. There were 144 ribs, racks of ribs all together. We handed and, uh, them out to 32 teams volunteered to help with the rib auction, because they know how much it gives back to the hospital during that, that part of the event. This event, uh, we're going to just keep it going. Uh, it, uh, it just seems to grow more and more every year. And uh, we chose this smaller fairgrounds and we're starting to outgrow it now. But it's, uh, it, it's a wonderful event. We're getting more and more community involvement. Uh, it, it's just, uh, and all we hear is just rave re reviews. So the barbecue people come here, number one, to support Shriners Children's hospitals but uh, also it's there's prize money and points involved it's a regular KCBS uh, accredited event so people come from all over the United States to uh, to compete and accumulate points for their year-end totals if you enjoy cooking yeah. or you enjoy helping children you are definitely willing to be throughout you can start cooking yeah. even just something small like people's choice maybe you yeah. have like the world's best pancakes or something like that you could turn yeah. them in and we get teams coming back that'll try a couple more things <laughs> to cook so once you get in you you get to feel what it's about and start to give back yeah. even more. I get that question all the time i'm nervous i'm not ready i can't do it i the one thing i can tell you is trying is a lot harder than you think because you're already cooking you already enjoy food food bonds so many of us together for good causes just come out and get here and you'll see it's not as complex as, you, as, the, as you're thinking it is. It's usually a mindset, so trying to have that positive mindset, anybody can do it.